What's up, YouTube? I'm King Shanks, and this is Droids Finest, and I am back with Call of Cthulhu Part 3. Ooh, yeah. Okay, so now I can actually make it past these guys to get to the warehouse. But what about... Ooh, this opened up, too. You saw what happened with those sailors. Don't, Don't hang around here unless you want trouble with the bootleggers. They're not scared of the I've seen the kind of messages their boss sent. They're not scared of her. Of course I am. Everyone's scared of that woman. She's not interested in small fry like me. You, on the other hand, knows around too much, you'll have dealings with her. This warehouse looks abandoned. Why does it interest them so much? No doubt a question of territory, but I ain't asking. If you want to know more, go ask the captain. Good. Thank you. I should take a look. I didn't see anything of what happened to any sailors. I don't know what they're talking about. Yeah, I guess it was just lagging just because um, it needed to load up or something. That's no way to you didn't tell me that the warehouse I was looking for was right in front of us. Because its owner is dead. And I don't want to see you hanging around it. Now please, leave us to our work. Okay. I don't know which way I want to go. Oh, there's two new guys out here. I didn't even see these guys before either. We're no longer at home on our own island. Calm down. It's not worth the effort. I told him, that flunky, that he'll see what a real sailor has in his belly. If you continue like that, everyone will see what you've got in your belly. Well, I hope so. I hope they don't forget the lesson. Me? I'm not scared of some girl. I mean they're going to cut you open, you idiot. Calm down. I guess that might be the sailors that get killed. Let's go see. Shall I? He said, you have no right to treat us like this. Oh, he looked at the... What did he say? This guy's just weird as hell. Hmm. Nightmares. Can hear things and voices whispering. Will follow its reader and appear at various locations. Gifted with its own consciousness. Until it finds a new reader. Okay then. Okay, so there's a new guy over here. Where's the... Where's the barkeep? Barkeep! Bar boy! Can I not talk to him anymore? Oh, I can. What can I get you? I already did all this. That'll be all for now. Some things have changed uh, after talking to Fitzroy or whatever. I told you to beat it. Okay. You're just still a bitch. She's just still a bitch. Okay. I guess I can do some stuff. I want to go right to the warehouse, but I want to get a bearing of where I am and understand like where I am and what's going on. Oh, this game is just phenomenal. Ooh, yeah. What is that, an old Ford Roadster type deal or... No. I don't know. Whatever. It looks like a Ford, um... What, what is it called? The F1? Or the... I don't know. It's like the first Ford truck ever made or something like that. I guess, yeah, I got nowhere else to go. I gotta just move forward. I guess I can check the dock again, just see if there's anything that's there, anything changed maybe, but... Now I kind of have more of a free roam at this point. That's kind of cool. Don't be catching Cthulhu. I already told you. Don't do it. 
I wonder if I can actually walk off the dock. No, I can't. Okay. Okay, we're good. I don't... I didn't take this as the type of game where it would just have, like, random pitfalls oh, yeah. anyways. He's gonna get us into trouble. You can't understand. Oh, I couldn't make it here before. What's up with you? Nothing. <laughs> Cthulhu? Always look out to the water, everybody. Search everything. <laughs> I did not know I knew how to pick locks. Damnation. I broke it. It's no use. The padlock won't give. Shit. Well, apparently I'm not very good at picking locks. Guess I need a key. St. Brennan, patron saint of sailors and travelers. Desecrated. I can't even say which language it's written in. Cool. What the hell? Oh, just a lantern, everybody. It's just a lantern. I'm going to try to be as thorough with this game as I can, like I always do. Everything that I do. But, there's going to be things that I just can't find and, and stuff like that. Secrets, probably Easter eggs. You live here? Why did you do that, huh? We saw what you did to St. Brendan. Yeah, we'll teach you to come onto our island and ridicule our protectors. I never have done such a thing, who St. Brennan. I've just arrived, you fools. I respect your beliefs. Our beliefs? You mean you don't believe in God? That's irrelevant. That's what you think. There's you, our beloved statue, and then those two bozos behind us. Wait, now that I think about it, it's got to be them. There's one of them who's always going back and forth to the statue. Quieter. That's all we need for them to hear us. What brings you to dark water? Uh, who are these guys keeping guard? Find out about the island first. Who that statue this? represents your local saint. What do you mean by local, exactly? You wouldn't be looking down at us, like all townspeople do. Saint Brendan, who protected whalers and fishermen like us. Until those assholes defaced him. Is this where you live? Peculiar house. Yeah, that's where we live. Our boat. It's not because it doesn't float anymore that we're going to abandon it. Good for you, I guess. Isn't it a bit early for alcohol? We got nothing better to do anyway. There's not much work around here. Fitzroy gives us a few chores every now and again, but since the whaling station shut down, ain't a lot of jobs left around here. So we drink. Sounds like a good plan to me. The two guys behind you. What are they guarding? The bootleggers. Scum. They're protecting their territory. From whom, I wonder? They really don't have a choice anyway. They're more scared of cat than an attack by drunken sailors. If only they would kill each other. Is it cat who's shaking down Captain Fitzroy? Oh, hold on, hold on just a minute. We didn't tell you a thing. Nothing at all. I'm gonna I've taken you. enough of your time. We'll see you later. Yes, yes, you will. Probably. Maybe not. 
It depends how I'm feeling. Where do you think you're going? Others are interested in the warehouse. Must get into the warehouse. What are police doing here? Okay. Who are these others so interested in the warehouse? And why would I tell you? We're on the same team. It may be related to my case. You and I are on the same side of the law. Oh, yeah? You don't want to know the truth in this case. Are you saying our work was not up to snuff? Forget it. I'm not here to hinder your work, officer. Edward Pierce, private detective. Sorry, we're all a little on edge today. What are you doing here? I'm investigating the death of the Hawkins family. Darn it. Why do you want to drag up all that stuff again? My investigation has led me to this warehouse. That case was closed months ago. What do you know about the Hawkins What more case? can you say about the death of the Hawkins family? Not much more than what everyone knows. I wasn't on the case. They were all burnt to death, right? Up at their place. The whole mansion went up into flames. Don't get it into your head to go wandering around up there. It's dangerous. What do you mean by that? The only one left there is old Silas, and the accident has affected him badly. He can be unpredictable, especially if a stranger starts poking around the property. Is he a danger to the public? No, he's in his own home. Do yourself a favor, leave him well alone. You again? I told you to beat it. No, you didn't. You never no said. No need to get worked up. You never told me to beat it. Beat it. Beat it. Okay, no, I'm not. I'm not singing. I'm not singing Michael Jackson. I promise. I like this. I like this a lot. Ooh, I can crouch. Hold up. If it gets out, I'll have serious problems with you know who. I bet that you hit them somewhere in- How could you be dumb enough to leave the entrance to the warehouses unguarded? Keep your voice down. Why not go and shout at the cat while you're at it? I don't want to end up with her little knife under my throat. It's a stiletto, idiot. And with that smell on your breath, I don't give you much chance anyway. In case anybody doesn't know what a stiletto is, it's a switchblade. Who's this guy? No idea. You better keep it shut. What's with you wandering around here like a hungry dog? We saw you talking to the two soaks. Go die of thirst, a lot of you. You'll stink less. No, I'm not gonna say Cat sent me. Or should I? Investigate their activities. You work for Cat. Who does this belong to? Is it you who defaced the statue? Sure. I went to see the statue of St. Brendan. What makes you think we did? We're bootleggers, not savages. Who do you think defaced the statue? What do I know? They could have done it by themselves. The sailors. Who else, in your opinion? And who's interested? Who does so this who are, you? are you stupid or are you doing it on purpose? Everybody knows us on Darkwater. I've just arrived. Let's just say we're standing guard for the owner of the site. And we let no one enter her property. Cat. <laughs> She's your boss. What? You listen through keyholes. She's the boss, yeah. She says who goes in or not. Shut up, you dummy. You wanted to know that you also talk too much. She must be quite intimidating if she can make two men like you tremble. <laughs> she redid the smile at the last one I wanted to get in. I hope he had a good dentist. No, no, you don't understand. She really cut him a new smile. But he only smiles with the left cheek. <laughs> um, 
good. Uh, what else? Investigate their activities. Okay, so this passage leads to the. I've got to house. enter the Hawkins warehouse. I guess it's going to be complicated. No, it's very simple, in fact. Fuck off. I don't give a damn about your racket. I just want to get into this warehouse. No, we don't give a damn about you. Whatever your reason for wanting inside, there's nothing we can do for you. <laughs> you have a problem. What? Who do you take yourself for, stranger? Your boss is very unhappy with your work. Oh yeah? You're bluffing. She said those knuckleheads are incapable of staying at their post. Darn it! You think he's telling the truth? We'll find out. Prove that you really know, Cat. She can certainly put them away. Her and me go back a long way. She uses a stiletto. I guess I do know that. Yeah. It's risky to question my word. I wouldn't like you to get cut with a certain Italian knife. Okay, okay. You've convinced us. And is she who sent you? What do you want from us? I thought I made it clear. I have to take a look inside the Hawkins warehouse. Leave me alone, and I'll put in a good word for you with Cap. Mm. Okay, it's a deal. Game saved. So, uh, well, you know what? Uh, uh. Yeah, you know what? I'm gonna end this one here. I know it's a shorter episode, it's only 17 minutes instead of half an hour, but I'm gonna end it here, and, uh, I'll actually get into the warehouse in the next episode, and, yeah, we'll do that right now. Anyways, stay tuned, and I'll see you soon. Peace!